How's it going everybody? I am comparing the 14 inch MacBook Pro 2021. So this is the eight core model on the left. This is actually the base model. And then the 10 core is slightly beefed up with a 10 core CPU, 16 core GPU. So in this quick video, I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison, exporting a Final Cut Pro project. This is the same exact project on both of these. And I also just wanted to show you just how quickly both of these MacBook Pros can scrub through footage. So please smash the like button and subscribe below if you're not already, because I'm gonna be doing a lot more content about this awesome MacBook Pro 14 inch. Let's just start with the 10 core CPU over here. This is absolutely bananas. This looks like some kind of like matrix, like CGI, just scrubbing through. And on the eight core on the left here, it's also just completely bonkers. And one thing I love about these M1 processors too, is I don't have to sacrifice performance for quality. So in other words, in my preview window here, I have the quality set to better quality, which means that I'm basically seeing like the raw videos from my Sony a7C, which I used to shoot this 4K footage without having to downsample it to kind of compensate for the processor. So in other words, I don't have to watch like a pared down version of my video when I'm actually previewing it in Final Cut Pro. I can just scrub through it and this is the full video. Like this is what it's actually gonna look like, you know, when it's on YouTube and stuff. Dongle life at all. And yeah, this display is really awesome. The display on both of these computers is exactly the same. I also have the same setting over here in the eight core version. So the quality is set to better quality for my preview screen here. And as you can see, it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. I love editing on both of these machines. So now let's do an export test with the same video, same project file. Click on export file here. And I have the settings set to H.264 here in 4K quality. And I'm going to do the same exact thing on the eight core model, H.264 over here, 4K. I'm gonna start these up and then press start on the stopwatch. All right, I had to set my phone on my coffee mug just to get this started. Let's open up the uh, background tasks here. You can see that this one's already at 3% on the right. And then on the left, the eight core model, 4%. It looks like they're kind of neck to neck right now. And I actually did the same exact export test last night just to test it out. And they rendered out the video at basically the same exact speed. It took about five minutes and 48 seconds or something like that. But you can see that this one's at 10%, this one's at 10%. I don't really see the 10 core model, which is supposedly 20% faster than this eight core model. I don't see a huge difference when I'm exporting in Final Cut Pro, weirdly. But yeah, we're already up to 21% on both of these models. And it's been about a minute and 20 seconds. And by the way, this is a 12 minute and three second video here. So on my MacBook Air M1, this video probably would have taken about six minutes minutes, maybe seven minutes to render out in 4K. So let's see where we're at now at two minutes, 22 seconds. We have 39% on the 10 core and then 42%. Whoa, hold up. On the eight core, it's actually going faster than the 10 core. What is up with that? So we just hit about three minutes and five seconds and we're at 51% on the 10 core, 54% on the eight core. Why is the eight core being faster? I'm not sure what that's about. I have the same exact settings, same exact project file going on both of these machines. But yeah, we're already at 75%, 76% after four minutes, 25 seconds. And I'm pretty sure the eight core is going to be winning here. Okay, we just hit five minutes and let's see where we're at. We're at 87% on eight core, 88% versus 85, 86. Wow, 90%. Yeah, the eight core is definitely going to win in the Final Cut export battle right here. And it looks like we're almost here at the end, 97%. 98, 99. So for eight core, we had five minutes and 43 seconds. And for 10 core, we had five minutes and 53 seconds. The eight core actually won. Why is that? That's very, very strange. So now I'm doing some disk speed tests on both of these machines, the eight cores on the left, 
10 cores on the right. So yeah, the read speeds look like they're pretty similar on both of these machines, but the write speeds, as you can see, are definitely more on the 10 core. We get 5,700 megabytes per second write versus about 4,100, 4,200 to 4,300 write on the eight core. But this still doesn't explain why the export was actually faster on the eight core, because if it is writing at a faster speed on this 10 core over here, why did that file actually export a few seconds faster on the eight core? Your guess is as good as mine. So if you're trying to decide between both of these machines, honestly, either one of these is going to be awesome. But if I were you, I would go for the 10 core model if you have that extra $500, because you get twice the amount of storage, one terabyte versus 512 on the base model. You also get a 10 core CPU and an upgraded GPU, but everything else is going to be the same. Like the screen is exactly the same. The speakers are exactly the same keyboard trackpad. It's just kind of a mystery why the 10 core was slower exporting Final Cut Pro. So let me know in the comments what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe it was useful for some of y'all. Also add me on Twitter and Instagram at B3NAQUA because I'm going to be posting a lot of cool behind the scenes photos and observations and stuff about these machines. And I will see you in the next one.